Hello one and all, I am Pally Ems and welcome to the conclusion of Cross of the Dutchman with our favourite hero, Pierre. Starting with a cutscene, always good. So as you can tell, we're going to be culminating with just a massive fight, I imagine. So... Getting pretty intense. Can really feel the music starting to amp up, getting us in a real serious mood. Even though the jovial jest of it is Pierre. Probably won't take as seriously as he should do. I've got a plan word. What we need to do is get you to do all the work and then we'll look heroic at the end of it if you want. How's that sound? Um, I think he's going to make us do the work. <laughs> so we're going on a search to try and find anyone who isn't dead. What a manoeuvre. Where is everyone? Well, it looks like they're all dead. That's what it, look, what it looks like to me. With uh, some really craziness as far as the um, frame rate's going. It really like takes a dip whenever I come across uh, people. So that's always good. And we're doing it. Look at that manoeuvre. What an expert. Uh, thanks that, Pierre. Always uh, good news when you're around. So I'm thinking, where do we go from here? Do we go up here? I'm thinking that's the uh, course of action. And I've done it. I've took them out. Uh, so we have to go back down, maybe? Is there any way around? No. Well, I forgot up here, just in case. So definitely no one up here it would seem. Which is a real shame. So we've got to go around the other side. And hopefully we'll find someone. A solitary survivor. To give us hope. That we can rebuild. We can persevere. And that we can just, you know. Teach these son of a guns what um, hell really looks like. I'm feeling like we're going to have to go on a right murder rampage. Real revenge going on. Use one of them super special moves, just like that. Not even any competition, really. Boom. We're, we're a two-man wrecking crew, really. Just like that, we're going back, are we? Fair enough. So that was, uh... Really worth it. Really worth coming up out here. I'm glad we've, uh, decided to do this. Really, uh, instills a lot of hope into, uh, the situation. I mean, I, I don't actually know, like, the actual, like... It seems like it's just a collection of bad guys, rather than we've got someone who's actually behind all this. 
I don't know, maybe we'll come across like a general or someone who's a uh, bit further up the uh, chain of command. Who we can. Oh no! It's Gert. Has he been slain or is he some baby? No, I think he's been slain. I vote as tomato juice, who knows? Oh, crap, they tricked me. Can't believe it. I didn't think I was capable of being tricked. Oh, not old Kimswood. We're going over. Too much blood has been shed. We need to, like, put an end to all this. Yeah, I mean, it's shocking just how bad frame rate is whenever I encounter someone. That's better. Starting to get somewhere now. Boom shakalaka. Is everyone done for? We've got gold light. It's falling out of the sky. I mean, are we supposed to be doing something here? Or is this just various locations where we can expect bad guys? Right, so we talked to Wired. Didn't he go with us? How would he know what's happened? Whatever. Let's just keep going onwards. <clears throat> Off we go. Look, me and my band of merry men, all of which are like over 50. Pretty uh, lame ragtag group, really. Oh no, not Rin. There will be hell to pay if Rin has been taken, which I imagine is probably going to be the case. Freaking hell. It really is like painful. We're at like probably 10 FPS right now. Really solid 10 FPS though. No, they're not on his land, is it? Oh. You, you lot should have not done that. I mean, Pierre, if there's one thing he's worried about, it's his cabbages. Forget Rin. If you're, like, trudging all over his crops, he's going to go ballistic. Aww. Oh. Can't you just come with us, Rin? It's like, come behind us. Oh, there's a time limit. Don't just hate it when that happens. Oh, I thought you... Oh, are you lot going to stay behind? Make sure that, you know, the cabbages are not trodden on. I'm glad to hear it. The hero of the hour is here in force. And, uh... We'll probably best to keep going upwards. Freaking out. It's just awful. Go on. 
It's not okay have this power move, really. I'll let we own take care of that one. I love that I'm probably saying his wrong, name wrong this whole time, but, you know, I'm just a rebel, I don't care. Come on, we heard! It is not the time to be taking him out. Oh, damn it. Bridges have been burnt on this day. The windmill is gone. See, even uh, Pierre noticed it. We can't believe it. We're just going to ignore all of you. Oh, shit. I've gone the wrong way. This is not going to be good for us. Come on, we can do it. Riyad will just have to be a sacrifice. Right. Retreat? No, we don't retreat. Not in this time. Not this time at all. We're going to fight, we're going to talk about freedom and how we're uh, going to save everyone, basically. Round we go. This is Pierre's defining moment where people start to take him seriously and realise that no, he's more than just a cabbage farmer. What is wrong with him? What the hell was that? I mean, I've seen some things, but... Freaking hell. Tell you what, we'll do a trick. It's called, uh... Change it down to high. And hopefully... Right, can we uh, keep going with this then? We've got villagers to save. And hopefully, we won't have such a problem. Off we go, come on. Come on villagers, I've got all the people to save today. people I need to save. Here we are. We had no time to be taking an out. So if we go up here, this is the uh, preferred route. Yeah. Had to check it twice, wasn't sure. Apparently not, apparently I've got to go around. Boom. We've done it. We've got one set left, and then Kimswood will be saved once and for all. Got have a bit of a jog down this one, though. It's a bit of a ways away. Can't you just tell though, that he's he's gone? He's been like waiting to do this for. Ever. He was born to do this. He 
Yo, run, come back, do a power move, run away. Is the way to do about do this. <laughs> Thank me later. How like nonchalant is that? Another epic cutscene. <clears throat> oh no. What's caught is like dazed eye. Is it rinse? No, it is as well. We've got to his farm somehow. The cabbages. The cabbages. What to do, what to do? Come on. They can't be that bad. There's got to be some we can salvage. You son of a bitch, Captain. Fucking. You touch my cabbages again, you son of a bitch. This is personal, you can tell, I mean, he hasn't even brought his right hand man, uh, weird, with him. It's just a one on one. The barns are burning. Um, and it's just, it's too sombre to be trying to come up with a uh, really rocking tune. I mean, just, just listen. It's like Peter's here on the organs. Come on. We can do this. Boom. We've got this. Come on, Captain. Where are you? Yeah. There's Rinse. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to try and pull around. Big action pack cutscene. What? We've seen this. So here we go. She will, she will, she can't be lifeless if she was shouting out. It's a really odd way to do things. Not Whirlpool and Girl Off. Where are they? They're alive still. What a price to pay. Oh no. A fire of hatred in his eyes. Look at the emotion. Them piercing blue eyes. How, how can... Told you. It's happening. I just realised this is a badass. And he's on a mission now. He's on a mission. That's it. Pierre the Great. Look at him, what an Avenger. It's like a, a farming ramper. Oh, look at this epic epilogue. It's just, it's just amazing. Is that the end? Who knows? I'm wondering it.
well, I think it is, you know. I think we're ready for the credits. Don't want to jinx it, of course. Never know what's going to happen. Whoa. There it is, guys. The credits are rolling. Ah, well, I enjoyed that quite a bit. It was obviously a little shorter, and I kind of like that, to be fair. It was a really nice, all-together game. 